Director of Tourism in the United States, Dereed Samuel Whitlock, speaks of the benefits to be derived from featuring the elite island resorts, Veranda, St. James's Club, and Galley Bay. You know, on Access Hollywood about two weeks ago, uh, the week before the first Antigua episode aired, there was, um, you know, Antigua was mentioned quite a bit. Um, telling people about the um, season finale being filmed in Antigua and Barbuda and the Veranda Resort. So beyond the actual show itself, there are several bands of, of media outreach mm -hmm. and, and exposure and promotional opportunities that come with this. Samuel Whitlock says there is an infinite period in which Antigua and Barbuda can use the bachelorette name for promotions approved by ABC. She cites examples internationally and at home. We've um, been approved on a number of different initiatives. For example, we're going to do a number of webinars with travel agents, okay. and it's you know the Bachelorette Tour. So we're going to promote Antigua and Barbuda and actually use footage mm -hmm. from the show for people who might not have watched it. Right, but right. I know there are se several points where in watching the show, Desiree the Bachelorette said things like, Antigua is the most romantic place in the world. We went, we're going to Shirley Heights. So mm -hmm. where we have testimonials like that, we have their permission to use them for a finite period mm -hmm. to, um, in our promotional opportunities. Island Resort has a trip giveaway um, which ends on August 12th. So I think people have like another few days where they can go on to the show, go to ABC's um, website or go to Elite's website and actually enter to win a dream giveaway. Okay. In addition to that, I know that Elite has bachelorette packages. Based on statistics over the years, the nation's target market has been age 48 to 55. The Tourism Direct explains how the bachelorette will help in succession planning to target a younger market. So this definitely goes after a younger market, which is, which is good, a shift in, in our typical um, strategy. Um, I think also we're big on honeymoons and romance. You know, that's, that's a niche that we've been going after um, for, for quite some time. So this, you know, this falls directly into that theme. After the Bachelorette, Samuel Whitlock speaks of two ongoing summer events to continue promoting the Twin Island Nation. Hamptons Challenge, which is a sailing regatta in the Hamptons, which happens, I believe, this weekend. Um, next week, as soon as I get back, um, we're going to Connecticut for the... Um, Tennis Championship, New Haven Tennis Champ mm -hmm. Championship. It's held at Yale University. This is okay. a slam down that leads up to the U.S. Open. She notes that Connecticut is a major market with people who are prime targets and that the Tennis Championship attracts in excess of 100,000 people daily. Sherilyn Beza, ABS News.